Hey everybody, welcome back to another awesome Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today we're going to be going over how to work with your selections. The ones, your selections that you already have, because there's some tools within uh, Photoshop that can help you uh, fix your selection and uh, do other things with it. So, most of your uh, selection options are going to be up here in your select area, right here. So um, we've got uh, select all, which selects every pixel in the image. So if I select all right now, it's just going to select the entire image. And then if I try to move it, it's going to just move the entire image. So I'm going to move backwards so I can have my selection that I already have. So right now I just have this um, lifeguard station that's out on the beach selected, and I have a certain area of it selected. And I didn't bother with the legs or anything like that. Too much time. Too lazy. So up here, again, we have a <clears throat> select all, which is control A. We have deselect, which is control D. And uh, you use that to um, get these uh, selection lines off your Photoshop document. Um, we have reselect. So if you deselect and it's gone, you can go back to a reselect and now it's back on. But you can also you can also um, hit undo or something like that if you need to reselect. So just uh, this is just another way to do that. We've got inverse here, which selects everything opposite of what you have selected. So right now I have the lifeguard station selected, and if I hit inverse, it'll select everything else. You can tell that it's inverse because it has this uh, dotted line around the outside. And if I hit delete now, it'll only save this. So um, that's a way that you, you don't have to drag this onto a new document if you didn't want to even use the background or anything like that. You could just select inverse and then delete to uh, get what you need. So I'm going to go undo this and undo the inverse selection. So the um, <clears throat> let's go up to the top here to uh, select. We've got all layers and um, it lets you select um, all the layers that are down here in your layer panel down here in the bottom right. And by doing that you can pretty much like, let me select it right now, you can uh, pretty much delete things from every layer that we got going on here. So let me, I gotta unlock this one. Select all layers. Now we got all the layers selected. So if I delete this out now, oh, just selecting all my layers for me. <clears throat> all right. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that just selects all your uh, layers in the layer panel. And if I try to move these, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, it doesn't move your selection actually. It just selects the layers. And then um, if you go to deselect layers, it gets rid of them. And then we can find layers if we would like. That way we can type it in, and I can just type in layer. And that way if you have a ton of layers, you can search by the layer name. Pretty uh, handy. And that uh, find layers is new in CS6. So remember that. So you can turn that on quickly right here, turn it on and off. And then we also have uh, different things we can add. So if you're looking for a certain effect that's on a bunch of things and you want to modify every effect or mode or whatever, you got it. That's a very handy feature that was uh, much needed. <clears throat> now we've got, let's go back up to here. We've got color range and uh, it creates a selection from your color range, which I went over in a previous tutorial. Um, what it does is you select a, a certain color and then everything that is that color gets selected. Um, the next one we have is uh, Refine Edge and this one it says Refine Mask but um, pretty much the same thing um, creates a, uh, pretty much creates the selection from complex image which is um, sort of like this Refine Edge and it's all blocked out because we already did it so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, the next one we have here is Modify. And Modify has a few uh, things in it. 
So um, it pretty much uh, lets you, you basically can modify the border by expanding or contracting it. So we'll just click on one, we'll go to expand, and then ask you by how many pixels you want to expand your selection. So if you're cutting out your selection and it has too much background information in it somehow, you can um, you can go in and make the selection smaller, you can contract it down. And these things remember the last uh, um, selection that you used. So, so um, just remember that. It'll pop up, so don't just go click happy because it remembers that you did it by three last time instead of one. So just remember that. Let's go down here to, um, we've got grow and we've got similar. Click on a layer. So we got uh, grow here, which uh, expands out a um, increase your selection by adding pixels to it. And then we got similar, um, and this one adds non-contiguous uh, pixels. So if I click on that, let me zoom in for you. Select your similar. We'll click that. And my selection is now gone. It's not what I wanted to happen. Edit undo similar. So what happened when I uh, selected similar is that it selected everything. So if I go back again and select similar, you can see that all around the outside, everything is selected. There's so many different uh, colors in here that it just selected them all. So step backwards. And if we select grow, let me select my layer, select, and then I hit grow. Let me zoom in for you again. You'll be able to see that um, looks like it grew out to the whole thing again. So the grow and the similar don't work too well on this picture, but um, I used it in one of my other selection tutorials, and the grow just uh, expanded it by a few pixels and helped it um, go around the outside of the of the edge. So I think what I uh, what's going on here is that I uh, already have the um, already have the selection on the edge already. So now it's gonna just like grow to like um, out into the background. So that's what's going on. Now we are able to transform our selection. So if I go to select, transform selection, it puts a bounding box around it and then I can move it around if I want. Like that. And press enter to stop selecting. Um, let's go up to select again and we've got um, edit in quick mask mode and it, uh, this, is, this is quick mask mode and it gives you your selection in this. So Let's back up. Load our save selection. So we've got our, I mean, we can load previously saved uh, channel mask selections and stuff like that. So that's uh, uh, for the uh, select menu. Now, um, sometimes, they, sometimes when you're working in Photoshop, things don't work <clears throat> exactly like you think they might. Um, that's one of the cool things about working. You need to like solve different problems. So if if you're working and you use uh, grow it to grow out your selection a little bit to get it to the outside, and it and it selects the entire um, picture, which isn't what I wanted it to do, then I'm gonna have to do something like go in and refine the edges through the uh, refine edge button here and mess with it that way. So that way, I mean, there's different ways to do things in Photoshop, and that's what I'm kind of trying to teach you now is the different ways to do things so you don't get stuck. So thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching. Vote, or uh, not a vote, that's Reddit. Um, like if you really like the video, and subscribe if you want to see some more. See you guys later. Have a good one.